thinking about buying a house in Utah, this new survey may have you think twice. Universe Live reporter Joe Belknap talked to home buyers, realtors, and homeowners to figure out why prices are so high. Three Utah cities cracked the top 10 most overpriced housing markets in the entire United States, Provo, Ogden, and Salt Lake City. Using decades of data from Zillow, two researchers at Florida Atlantic University calculated that home buyers of those cities are paying on average 44% more than current housing price trends estimate. The interest rates are still low, but our prices have gone up, and so it's going to be tougher in the, the lower price ranges. What is going on with Utah's housing market? Supply and demand, right? The supply of homes is not keeping up with the demand. So we have about a one-month supply of inventory right now. To have a balanced market between buyers and sellers, we need about a six-month inventory. Sellers started realizing that they had the, you know, the upper hand in this. The buyers were at their mercy. According to the census, Utah is the fastest growing state. We've had so many people not only moving to Utah with job creation, we have a lot of people who stay here. Homeowners looking to sell are cashing in. The market was so hot that we could get out and make enough money to get rid of all of our debt. They bought their home in 2018 for $318,000 and sold it for nearly double. Almost 100% in profit. On the flip side, home buyers have a rough road ahead of them. We put about 15 offers on houses before one stuck. This new homeowner wanted to buy in the Provo area. But it just wasn't an option because the pricing was so high. Instead, she looked elsewhere because Eagle Mountain is a little bit less pricey because it's a more it's a newer development. If you're looking to buy a home, places like Eagle Mountain or even here in Vineyard are building homes every single day at a much cheaper price than Provo, Salt Lake City, or Ogden. Reporting for Universe Live, I'm Joe Belknap. Thanks, Joe.